Dr. Krowitz. Yeah, what's up? Hey, we have a patient waiting for you. Um, who is it? It's our cat lady lover. Oh, cat lady's here? Yes, and she's waiting for you. She has really, really long nails because she okay. missed her last appointment. Okay. Um, why is it that these people with cats turn into their animals? It's so weird. <laughs> hey everybody, Dr. Leo Crowitz, Healthy Feet Podiatry, Tampa, Florida. Actually, we're in Wesley Chapel, which is a little suburb north of Tampa. And guess who's with me? Crazy Cat Lady. That's what she wanted to be called. She actually has a cat sanctuary. And she has a... Yeah, so you do live videos still, right? Do you do the live videos? Uh, we haven't lately. <clears throat> okay. But we do periodically. Okay, she's not, first of all, she's not friends with Carol, and we all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Tiger King, da 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 da, et cetera. Um, but she has her own cat sanctuary here in, in I guess it would be in Zumper Hills, right? We're at Wesley Chapel. Oh, it is in Wesley Chapel, okay. So it's in Wesley Chapel. Um, and it's on Facebook. You can you can access it on Facebook. And I think the Facebook page is called Cat Sanctuary, right? Covered Bridge Cat Sanctuary. Oh, that's right. Covered Bridge Cat Sanctuary. Pretty cool if you like cats. Um, the cat lady needs to be declawed right now, though. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I but we're not going to do a total decline. <laughs> we're just going to trim them up a little bit. Okay, because our cat lady is diabetic. She was a little bit worried about coming out with coronavirus. She put her appointments off. So she actually missed two different appointments. So she's really probably about 27 weeks out. I would think, right, with the two nine-week appointments? No, nine or weeks it... and plus four, 13 weeks okay, out. Okay, so it's 13 weeks out. So it's not bad. But her nails typically, um, Rebecca, the cat lady, is... A patient of mine, and she's been a patient of mine for years. Her nails grow fast. I, I remember, like when I was coming in there, I'm like, I, I knew she was gonna have longer nails, but the fact that she wasn't in here, I knew they were gonna be really long. That we may have to get out like the special nippers, these guys, just in case, just because they're really long. Um, but these are the ones we'll actually start with. Um, so we're gonna do a decline. This is our our version of a decline. Okay. <laughs> And if it hurts, just let out a big meow, okay? <laughs> like just a meow, okay? Or a yelp. So sometimes these nippers, you can see these are real big nippers here. Um, on smaller nails, or nails that aren't that big, can actually, I'm gonna get my hand out of the way here. Um, they can grab some of the flesh too underneath. And that's the other thing that happens. The longer you go without having your nails cut, the more the skin underneath the nail gets pulled with it, especially if your nails are thicker than normal from trauma or from fungus. And it gets real messy and you get little pinpoint bleeding areas. She doesn't have that yet, so she's, this is pretty good, okay? And no meows yet. <laughs> so one meow if it's painful, or loud meow if it's really painful, and then bark if it's like super painful. <laughs> It's a good system. <laughs> we should use that for all the patients. That would be kind of cool, right? <laughs> Very. So tell us about the cat sanctuary. What is the main focus of it? Is it saving cats that are like homeless cats? Or um, is it like to just for your own um, cats yeah. that you just like? We have, we have a variety. Uh-huh. Uh, we have older cats who are less adoptable and therefore they have, this is their sanctuary until they expire. Uh -huh. uh, we have young cats. We have no kittens at this time. Uh, we have some two, three, four year old cats that are very um, adoptable. We have some who are less adoptable because of their personality issues. Uh -huh. um, we have some that have medical issues okay. and therefore they stay with, they're with us forever. Um, we've got two cats that are 17 years old uh -huh. um, and in good health. 
Wow. Uh, all things considered. That's awesome. Yeah. It, it is. <clears throat> but they're not up for a, a 17 year old. There's no way you're going to let those get adopted, right? You're just going to no, be careful. No, no. They, they've been with us for four years now, okay. and they're gonna, they will be with us. Two of their siblings have already um, gone to the uh, Rainbow Bridge. Uh huh. Uh, um, yeah, we know the Rainbow Bridge. We have um, four cats who have urinary, uh, urinary tract problems, so they're on special diets. Uh -huh. uh, we have two that are positive for feline AIDS, so they, um, wow. they're with us forever. Um, they all have an indoor area, indoor kennels, nice size ones that are uh, for bad weather and at night. And then they all have outdoor areas where they are, they're large um, catios where they can go, where we put them during the day and in nice weather. Oh, she said catio, by the way, that's pretty funny. Because it's for the cat, right? You call it the yeah. catio, yeah. It's a cat patio. I remember when you built, now this is that whole thing that you built yes. like probably five years ago, right? Something like that? Yeah, and we have added to it periodically. We found a way to um, build yeah. um, individual catios uh -huh. um, using PVC okay. and uh, wood uh, shelves for them. They get to climb around. The catios are five feet by five feet by five feet or variations thereof. Um, uh -huh. We have some catios that have two and three cats in them. We have some that have individual, the cats are individual to the catios because of, they're happier that way. Okay. They're not, they're not social cats. No. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to avoid the cat fights, right? Exactly. So they probably do fight, right? They're territorial? Um, actually, no. No? For okay. the most part, no. So they'll let someone in on their little patio? Um, if they... We had three cats in one patio. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that patio is 18 by 18 by 5 feet. Uh -huh. And one of them was not her personality changed. Yeah. So we took her in her own individual patio. Alvin and uh, Lana get along okay. Lana isn't a social cat. Alvin is very social. Okay. But they each have their own. Okay. And they respect each other's territory. Okay. And all of personality has improved remarkably since we put her down herself. Oh. It's pretty cool though. Dogs always do that dominant thing. When you yeah. get two dogs together, one of them's gotta be in charge, the other one's a follower. Exactly. I guess cats are different. I've never had cats because I'm allergic to them. I start sneezing like crazy. I start itching deep inside my ears and my throat. So, I think cats are really cute. They're interesting too. But I've never been able to have one. So. Now, are you still doing the filming of the cats? Do you still have the, the cat cam? Um, a lot of you know, <clears throat> we haven't had a chance to do that lately. Um, the person who was doing the filming hasn't had time to do that. Uh -huh. But um, we're going to get back into that. I bet people watching this would probably say they'd love to see that like a live camera. People are just, just to watch the cats run around and see what they're doing. I know I would personally, I mean a lot of people, it's pretty much just a good animal, what they're doing, but no one's going on. 
to them when there's not a live person by them. It'd be kind of cool to see. Especially with the quality of video there is now, you can probably see it really well. You know? Yeah. <laughs> About a year, How many total cats do you have now? How many cats? Yeah. 48. 48, that's it? It's a big sanctuary. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a big so, so I think in order crazy cat lady, you'd be you'd be really the crazy cat lady if it was over 50. So you still <laughs> I think you are still considered sane if it's under 50, is that right? Right. Yeah. right. 50 is the magical number, right? Yeah. That's why I had an assistant that had like 28 cats. Oh man. Um, but I, it seems like people that have cats have a lot of cats. Well, so. we have we have three buildings that are set up with kennels in them uh -huh. for them at night and during bad weather. Okay. And when they're outside, <clears throat> they all, all the catios have cubbies. Oh, wow. So that they can get in out of the rain or uh -huh. they have some type of protected area. That's great. Oh, very cool, yeah. That's so awesome. it's... It's good to tell they love it. It's like the cat hotel. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So, um, anyway, what does it say? Um, what do they say at the end of, or at the beginning of the videos in, um, in the Netflix series? Um, like, hey, cool cats. Hey, all your cool cats and kittens. Okay, so, so, so now I'm going to say, hey, all your cool cats and kittens. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. You ready? <laughs> yes. Get ready. You're on. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, if you like what you see, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next video. Everyone, be safe, be healthy. Bye.